nuclear power plants generate energy in today's world using nuclear fission. Fission is just another word for splitting, so the process of splitting a nucleus is called nuclear fission. For fission to be done in any practical way, we have to use big atoms like uranium or plutonium. To start off the process, one of these isotopes must absorb a neutron. When this happens, the nucleus becomes unstable and splits into two smaller nuclei. Two or three neutrons are also released in the process, which can go on to cause a chain reaction. A lot of energy is released during nuclear fission, and I mean a lot. You could meet the demand of an average American every year with just 275 grams of natural uranium. That's equivalent to burning 4.4 tonnes of coal. Nuclear fusion, as you probably guessed, is the opposite of nuclear fission, as you fuse atoms together instead of splitting them up. In fusion, we use the smallest atoms we can get because it doesn't require as much energy as bigger atoms would to fuse, specifically the isotopes hydrogen-1 and hydrogen-2. We create the conditions that forces these atoms to be squashed so closely together that they fuse into helium-3 and releases about three to four times more energy than a nuclear fission reaction. I'll leave you to calculate the equivalent in coal. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see some more. You can also follow me on Twitter at DiddleSci if you want to.